Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Aura Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. These are going to be um, weekly messages. I'm a day late, actually like two days late. So I have to do these for February the 20th through the 28th since there's only 28 days in February. So um, we're going to close out February with these messages for Aquarius. Um, if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, then hopefully this reading will resonate. But unfortunately, it's very general, so it won't resonate with everyone. But if you would like to book a personal reading with me, it's super simple. Um, I respond back the same day as well. But basically, it's like an audio message that I send to you as a personal reading. Um, and then you get pictures of the cards that, came, that come out for you so that you can get a visual. So today we're going to be using the Angel Prayers Oracle deck by Kyle Gray to get the main message here for Aquarius. What important message here does Aquarius need to hear? What important message here does Aquarius need to hear? And this is for February the 20th through the 28th here. What message does Aquarius need to hear for February the 20th through the 28th? Oh, okay, hold on y'all. We have open your heart here. And this is Archangel Chamuel. I think that's how you say his name. But um, open your heart here. It says, thank you for removing the barriers around my heart here. So yeah, for some of y'all, you could be needing to open your heart here. Also too, I feel like for some of y'all, you could be needing to wear the color green here as well. But um, you could definitely be needing to work on your, like, your heart chakra here. So let's see. Tell me about opening your heart here for Aquarius. Tell me about opening your heart here for Aquarius. Tell me about opening your heart here for Aquarius, please. Tell me about opening your heart here for Aquarius. Yeah, so we have, okay, so this could definitely be about a relationship or a partnership here. Uh, for some of you guys, you, maybe you had to, to take a step back here or maybe take a break from your partner or something. But we do have the Wheel of Fortune here too. Also too, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be needing to open, um, be open here um, towards like change here with this Wheel of Fortune here card coming out here. But it could definitely be about a relationship here or a partnership here with the lover's card coming out here at the bottom of the deck. So that could be for some people here. Tell me more about opening your heart here for Aquarius, please. Tell me more about opening your heart here for Aquarius. Oh, wow. So we have the seven of swords here that came in here. The seven of swords here. I do feel like too, um, see, this is your energy Aquarius here. For some of you guys, it's like maybe, um, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be running away from something here of the past. I don't know why I feel like that. Because we got the Six of Cups here that came out at the bottom. It's almost like maybe something, um, maybe something is coming back around here, um, for you that you're needing to open your heart here too. Now, if you were dealing with some type of deception here as well, like maybe um, someone was being dishonest here as well, it's kind of like still have like a, ho a open heart here or like be light lighthearted here about it. So let's see here. We're going to clarify this seven of swords um, in a few minutes. Give me one more here for Aquarius here for open your heart. Yeah. So we have the nine of wands here. For some of you guys, maybe someone did something here. Someone think they possibly got away from something here. You could be worried about it. I'm not really sure what this is, but know that um, some things are definitely going to shift or change for you. Here, what is nine of wands? The way it's showing up, y'all, like as you can see, like I'm not really sure if you're coming up here as the wounded warrior here, but someone's definitely guarded here. So this could be your energy, Aquarius, since this is coming out for open your heart. Um, cause this nine of wands to me is like a person who would definitely have barriers around their heart here, but it's almost like, um, let's see what this seven of swords is. We have the nine of swords that came out here. 
at the bottom of the deck here so whatever this is here you could be definitely worried about it um aquarius clarify this will of fortune here for aquarius Clarify the Wheel of Fortune here for Aquarius. Yeah, so we have the Eight of Swords here. Some of you guys could definitely be getting some good news here, though. It's like even if you did deal with some type of deception here or, sneak, or sneaky behavior here with this Eight of Swords, um, you're definitely about to receive some good news to kind of like shift you out of this eight of swords energy but also too it's like you're needing to like open your heart and um be um optimistic here think positive here about your situation here but we got the page of wands here that came out at the bottom okay so let's see i'm kind of scared to clarify this seven of swords here what's the seven of swords here clarify the seven of swords clarify the seven of swords here So we have the six of pentacles here. So some of y'all could have definitely been in a situation here where someone, I feel like someone could have stolen something here. But look, know that you're getting a victory here too, Aquarius. So we got the world card um, at the bottom of the deck here. We got the ace of swords here. I feel like someone could have stolen something here. Clarify this nine of wands. And it's almost like too, it's like you're you're needing to um kind of like get your um your thoughts under control here. Cause I feel like too, you could be wanting to like retaliate here for whatever this is because someone stole something here. Like, what in the world? Okay. Let's see here. What is this nine of wands here? Clarify the nine of wands. It's kind of like whoever um, stole something here or got they thought they got away with something here. Um, it's like they left you in this nine of wands type of energy, like just um, guarded here, like coming up as like the wounded warrior here. Clarify this nine of wands. Yeah, so we have the ace of pentacles here. So for some of you guys, this could definitely be um, some type of new offer here, a new opportunity. It's definitely something tangible here. But I feel like, too, you could be just need to be like, um, just like open your heart up to whatever this is here. And we do have the Queen of Swords that came out here. So, yeah, for some of you guys, your energy here is coming up guarded here. It's like you're protecting your heart here, being like very protective here. And I feel like you could be needing to... Um, yeah, just be more open here um, towards whatever this is here. Tell me about this um, Eight of Swords here. Actually, I'm just going to ask why, um, why does Aquarius need to open their heart? Why does Aquarius need to open their heart? And then we're going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Why does Aquarius need to um, open their heart? Oh, so it could be some type of um, offer here. So we do have the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like too, it's like open your heart here and also to follow your heart for whatever this is here with this um knight of cups here because for some of you guys you could be dealing um you could be like in a situation here where it's like maybe you're um now you could this could definitely be like self-sabotage here like you lying to yourself here with this seven of swords but it's like um open your heart follow your heart here now this could also be like some type of offer here a romantic gesture here because i do see something new here we have the knight of um i mean not the knight the king of pentacles here someone could definitely be dealing with the earth sign here a capricorn Taurus, or a virgo here with this king of pentacles here so you could be needing to open your heart here to like a new beginning here what is this ace of pentacles here for um aquarius what is this ace of pentacles here for aquarius 
yeah something's happening here unexpectedly here so we do have the tower here this is some type of unexpected change here aquarius with the tower know that it, you're um benefiting from this tower moment but i feel like someone needs to be like open to change here because you could be need to walk away from a certain situation here or like letting something go here So why is the tower here for Aquarius? Okay, yeah, so a new cycle is starting here. Some of you guys are getting like a clean slate here, something new. So we do have the world card here. I feel like so you're going to get clarity here because we got the eight of swords here. Someone's going to get clarity here on a situation here. So it could be coming from another person here. So we do have the world card here. So know that things are going to be working out for you, Aquarius. Um... Some of you guys could definitely be needing to like remove the barriers here from around your heart if you're feeling like wounded here or scarred because of some type of deception here. Um, so you could be definitely needing to let that go here. I'm going to end the reading right here, Aquarius. I really hope that this reading resonated with someone. Um, of course, you guys can give the video a thumbs up if it resonated with you or if you got something from the reading. Um, also, too, you guys can subscribe if you're new to the channel as well.